Hey guys, so today I'm sitting really comfortably on my bed and I'm actually sweating um, because I have like a giant blanket over me also in California it's really hot and I have a sweater on but I kind of wanted this the vibe of this video to just be really comfortable and cozy and homey um, I just want you guys to be watching this video and just be like chilling so yeah I'm gonna be filming a book haul because I've been so into books and I've been reading a ton this summer I actually love reading so much and I think it's something if you can read because i understand not everyone's a reader but if you think you have the potential to kind of be a reader i encourage you to try it because it just feels really good and it's just it's a really like fun thing to do so yeah um i'm just gonna be showing you guys my favorite books and um yeah i kind of want to start a discussion in the comments and i also need book recommendations so just comment down below your favorite book of all time or a book you want to read and if you don't know then just comment down your favorite emoji because that's also something i want to know okay so i'm not going to be showing all of the books i got because a lot of the books that i picked up recently have been art books and coloring books and stuff like that i'm going to be showing you guys like the straight up novels that i picked up and i'm really excited so let's just get into the haul but yeah so the first book i picked up was to all the boys i've loved before by jenny han and i actually finished reading this book so if you want any reviews of the books i'm talking about leave a comment down below i loved this book so much it was so cute and it was just such a perfect um fluffy book and i liked it more after i finished it because i had time to reflect on it and i just loved this book i finished in two days and i thought it was a perfect summer read and i'm going to order the next two books in the series so yeah the next book i picked up was Anna and the French Kiss and I really liked this book also and this book really made me want to go to Paris um, because that's where this takes place and I just thought it was a perfect teenage book and yeah um, it's basically about this girl named Anna and she basically has like a really good life in her hometown Atlanta but for senior year her dad kind of sends her to Paris just to become more cultured and she just meets a ton of new people and she meets this guy and he's really cute and they basically just have a really nice romance and I think this is the epitome of like a summer um, contemporary novel so I loved it so much and this is definitely one of my new favorite books. The next book I got was The Hating Game and I got this a while ago. I got this before I went to New York but it's still recent so yeah um okay so i mentioned this book before but i'm gonna say this again it is definitely bordering on the adult novel genre it's not really young adult i would say it's a really good book and i loved it a lot it took me a while to finish because i i don't know why like everyone was really like praising this book and i mean i loved it also and i definitely give it like a four stars but it just I feel like I'm not really ready for this um, yet, but it was a really good book and I liked their jobs that they had. I thought it was super cool. So yeah, it just was kind of hard for me to get into this book. And um, I also got this book before my New York trip, but this is my new favorite book besides Harry Potter. It's Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe and this is the best book I have ever read in my whole entire life besides Harry Potter. But oh my god you guys i guys i shed s at least 10 pounds of tears reading this book i was on the plane i was just crying and bawling my eyes out and i have like 10 notes on my phone just crying about it and oh god and i have like five pages in my journal dedicated to how emotional this book made me i don't know why this book made me so emotional but it was so good and I love LGBTQ romances. Those are my favorite romances to read. So the next book I bought was Me Before You and I think this is another adult book. Um, also, can we talk about how adult books are like way more than um, young adult books? Because this was 16 and this, for example, was 12. I mean like the difference though. Um, I'm kind of scared to read this book because it ugh, this book is very deep, it's very hard hitting and I'm a little nervous to read it because I watched the movie, I loved the movie so much, it's one of my new favorite movies ever, I cried a lot during the last scene and I watched the last scene over about 30, 100 times so yeah. Um, I am going to read this book though just because 
I think it's a beautiful story and I hear great things about it. And the next book I bought was Isla and the Happily Ever After. Um, I got this one in hardcover and um, yeah, I still need to get Lola and the Boy Next Door. This is the third companion novel to the Anna and the French Kiss series about this girl named Isla and she kind of gets um, introduced in um, Anna and the French Kiss. Briefly, she gets a little, um, like a couple paragraphs and um, basically she has a romance with Josh and Josh is one of the main characters in Anna and the French Kiss so it's kind of cool to see the stories intertwine and yeah I'm really excited to read this book because I love these types of books so yeah. The next book um, is The Unexpected Everything. I'm currently reading this as you can tell by the bookmark. Um, this is by Morgan Matson, and all of Morgan Matson's books are very long um, I think this one is like 500 pages. Yeah, it's 500 pages. Since You've Been Gone was 500 pages around. Kind of have quite a lot to say about this book. So, Since You've Been Gone, I loved that book. For me, when I read Morgan Madsen's books, I always buy her books because everyone says they're good. Like, literally everyone on booktube says they're good. So I kind of just accept it and I buy the book but it literally always takes me a good like 150 pages to get into the actual story and book, which is in my eyes kind of a flaw because I feel like a book should be good from cover to cover. So it just always takes me a while to get into it. I think that the books are kind of long winded and I feel like the length isn't really necessary and there's a lot of superfluous words that don't need to be in there. So yeah. Um, I mean, I love the book and I'm probably going to finish it tonight. Basically, that was my summer book haul. I hope you guys liked the video and I'm going to be posting more book videos soon. If you want a review of anything, comment that down below. Just let me know what your favorite books are. I'd love to know everything like that. And don't forget this, to give this video a thumbs up. Yeah, um, I'm really excited. I hope you enjoyed the haul and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.